Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tallon. This is your general reading for the week of May 16th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, as always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're seeking a personal reading, JackieTallon.com. And that's the only way to get a legitimate reading with me or communicate with me. Be warned of the imposters on social media. All right, Virgo. Week of the 16th, first card up, you've got the emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. This is someone that comes in to kind of save the day. Um, we have the five of uh, coins, five of pentacles is coming in here. Now, this tells me two things are going on here. Two blessings have been granted. One is spiritual, one is financial. We have the judgment card. Now, be careful who you pass judgment on. If you pass judgment on someone too quickly, I promise you, you're going to be wrong. So be mindful of that on the week of the 16th. Then we have the Five of Swords. You're very defensive. You're very guarded. You need to let your guard down a little bit. Center of the reading, we have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups comes in. This is total and complete wish fulfillment and total and complete happiness and contentment. Good energy. Then we have the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands, there's still some conflict going on. And for you, it's either with you and your partner or spouse or it's in your family. Nothing detrimental. You just need to know that it is present. And that I do see some conflict there. Then we have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords says that you need to make decisions that you've been putting off for way too long. We have the Two of Cups. This is date night. Whether you are coupled or single. Some kind of date night coming into play. And we have the Ten of Wands, overcoming your obstacles. Look at him. He's like the king of the mountain. Beautiful energy that you're working with here to be under retro, okay? So now let's move a little bit further with these messages. And there again, we are looking at Virgo. This is the week of May 16th, 2022. I think you've got a couple of unexpected surprises is what's coming through here. Okay, Four Pentacles asking you to keep some things to yourself. Thoughts, opinions, and ideas, but bigger than anything, money. You need to start, have a little personal stash of money off to yourself. Nine of Cups over top of the Nine of Cups is twice as telling you wish fulfillment. Okay. And we have judgment on top of judgment. Okay, I cannot stress enough to you, Virgo, that if you pass judgment on someone too quickly, you're going to be wrong about that person. Okay, on the Five of Swords, the defensive King of Swords is probably because you're dealing with this person here. This is someone with a sharp tongue. Uh, sharp tongue could be very hurtful with their words. Also want to throw out a Libra, may or may not resonate here. On the Nine of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords. Here's the problem. Remember, I just said there's going to be some conflict, either with family or with a spouse. Someone is straight up lying to you. That's where the conflict is going to be. Yep. And it could be involving money. Overall, you guys are working and gaining uh, if you're seeking a job, you're coming into the right era of finding a job. If some of you are seeking a side hustle, this is also a good time for that as well. On the Two of Swords, we have the Six of Cups. Now, this is very common during retro, and it's not the person you're thinking about. This is a reconnection and reuniting with someone from the past. So if you're sitting there going, Jackie, I don't want to reconnect with that person. That's not the person I'm talking about. This is someone you have not heard from in quite some time and someone you're really thrilled to reconnect with. On the Two of Cups, we have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, total victory, complete success. Perhaps you have an audience of some sorts. Uh, you're in the spotlight here. You're surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. But it does indicate victory and success. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. You're coming into a new beginning. Um, and it has to do with your finances. This new beginning in money. I can't say it's going to be right here in the week of the 16th, but whatever it is, the week of the 16th is setting you up for new money. 
And we end with the Ten of Cups, which is total and complete happiness. Uh, this is a relationship card that if you guys are in a relationship, it's ascending to another level, like living together, commitments, vows, things of that nature. And if you're single, this is actually headed to a relationship with someone new. So either way, it looks pretty good. Um, overall, to be in a retro, I mean, the only thing you've got, you've got conflict with a spouse and or a family member. But other than that, I think things look pretty good. So Virgo, don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading and I will see you guys soon. Bye.